This is what it's like to vlog with tall people. So, hey guys, what's going on today? Uh, <laughs> 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 and uh, we're, here, we're here at uh, Midsummer Scream. This is the, the intro right here. Yeah, there we go. Day two. <laughs> Day two. Saturday. And, uh, vlog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we got the forehead of security here. That's right. That's right. Hey, what's going on, Sammy? What's up, guys? We're all the same height you as can you can see. You can bring it down so they can see your beautiful face. I know, but then it's like, then see, then we got the, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in frame. There we go. I'm in frame. <laughs> Shout out to Fiend. Love your guys' hats. If they gave me one, I would love there. They didn't give it to me. I bought it. I know. That's what I'm saying. I if they, if they, yeah, yeah, I'll support them. I'll support them. I already told you I'm gonna buy a beanie. I can't wear hats because Robin says that I'm creepy looking in a hat. I, I rock them good. And you know what's funny? I never used to like hats, but this I, is all this is all being filmed right now. Yeah, yeah this is all being filmed. This is a great B-roll. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is good B-roll. So remember, always keep the camera rolling. That's what Let's they te that's what they taught me in film school that I never attended. Yeah. You went, to, you went to the school of hard knocks, too. Yeah, didn't you? that's right. Yeah, it's a hard knock life for right. us. Let's do. I'll do a proper intro for the video. That would be like the. That would be like the what you call it. That'll be the closer. The closer. All right, go ahead, go. Now, with that being said, if you are prone to any strobe lights, fog effects, or even vulgar language BS, I can please leave now. Once again, if you're prone to any fog effects, shrubs, or vulgar language BS, please leave now. What is going on? Ladies and gentlemen, we are here right outside the Long Beach Convention Center. Day two, Saturday, Midsummer Scream. We got a busy day today. Kurt Hammett's gonna be here with the legacy of the Universal Monster. The children, grandchildren, all are here for a panel. Halloween Horror Nights has got a panel today. What else we got here? Oh yeah, definitely. We got uh, some great walkthroughs in the Hall of Shadows. That's all you got? That's all I got. I mean, 13th floor is here today, man. I mean. I believe that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow? Okay, that's tomorrow. well, that's tomorrow. I'm just getting a little too excited just to be here. That's why. But we're here. We're going to have a great time. Rob's here. Logan's going to be here in a little bit. Uh, and we have a lot of friends here. So let's see who we run into. And let's see how much fun we have today. Join us. I'm going to steal this from TLA to open. Join us on this extraordinary adventure. Here with Tony and you Sammy. I'll be shooting for exploring attractions. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not shooting for exploring attractions. I'm shooting for the Howling Hour. Here's the thing. I'm gonna go get some great B-roll. Top five B-roll of all time. Hey, Knights of Horror invading Midsummer Scream. We're here. <laughs>
What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Sam and today we're going to be going into Hall of Shadows. Hey guys. Hey guys. Where are we? Oh uh, yeah. This is a Disneyland. Hey. Hey. Camp reception right there buddy. <laughs> What's going on there? I feel like we've done this before. I feel like we have. <laughs> I'm filming Rob filming wait, me. Wait. Wait. Rob's going to get taller. Oh. I'll get shorter. <laughs> Let's Why go. Let's see him. Oh. Do this.
Hunter. Yeah. Tickets are now on sale. Terror and Terror. Yeah. Tickets now on sale, guys. And they've got the Ecto-1 here getting lost. Yeah. The contest. Chain and it wasn't yeah. like a chain where yeah. where you missed it, like you caught every scare. They did a really good job, especially with groups coming yeah. in together. I think they did a good job of scaring every person. And maybe they didn't get you in one room, they got you in the very next room. So they did. good job, Fear Farm. They good did. job. Review. What? On Fear Farm. Fear Farm was the best yep. so far. And it's it's honestly the the, the facade facade uh, is just well designed. If you just look at the architectural structure of everything, oh my god. No, on the the real shit though it, it was it was amazing it was great um distracting all over the place it was dark i couldn't really see really playing with your senses and um looking forward to the full experience man fear farm review Bro, 10 out of 10 I, I i would say best one we've walked through thus far yeah. very creative scares they hit us from the top it's from the sides a lot of good scares a little suction ending loved it loved yes, it yes 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 and as for me, I enjoyed the hell of it. Got you scared. scared. They got spiders. They had a, they had a spider spiders. in there. And if anyone knows me, I hate spiders. Much like Greg Nicotero, I hate spiders. Well, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm terrified of spiders. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, we got some more to go through, more reviews. So check that out. They got robbed! They got me. They got all these guys love this scene, bro. Oh, the moon. I love we this scene. We love the moon. We love the moon. We love the moon. We love the haunt. We love everything. <laughs> oh, man. 
They're gonna get you, Rob. They're not gonna get me. They're gonna get you. They're not gonna get me. They've already got you once. They got me. They got you. That's cool. I like that. I like that. Oh yes. Yes. The pumpkin made a return, bro. Yes, I love it. Oh yes. All right. So Corona Hunt, which is literally right behind us. We did that. Give us your review of it. That was yeah. your first time going through. Yeah, it was my first time. I've definitely watched a couple of walkthroughs already on YouTube. Yeah. I've never had the opportunity to walk through a Corona Hunt. So it was a really good time. Really yeah. great uh, detail um, in the scenic design. Had a, it was a fun walk through. Very fun. I always love supporting Corona Hunt. They always put on great haunts. Such a fun time. Details are always so good. And and uh, if you loved Tales from Halloween last year, it was great to walk through it again this year. I can't wait to see what they do for the 2022 season, and I'm so excited. Rob. What's up? Corona Han. What do oh, you think? Always, always, they bring their A++ game. I thought the maze was colorful and dark. Obviously, that the, the moon scene, I love it because I'm part werewolf. Yeah. Um, everything they do, the pumpkin, the big pumpkin head, yeah. everything they do at Corona Han is Excellent. A1. So, I loved it. I loved A1. it. And then Scaredy Cat Vasquez. What's up? Corona Haunt. Thoughts. Corona Haunt. I love anything with the old traditional Halloween theme. That yeah. black and orange. You bought it at the supermarket decoration set. You know what I mean? Yes, that sir. type of stuff. There's, a, there's. I don't. I don't know if we can give any spoilers, but like you know, there's a moment. You can just bleep it all out if it's all like. Nah. We walked okay. through the walk. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So there's a moment in there where it smells like pumpkin. They won my whole heart over with that. You're getting what ready else? for that pumpkin spice latte. Exactly. Right? All like, day, every day. Ready for that fall. Spice my dog. Pumpkin spice yeah. latte. Latte, baby. Latte. 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 A lot to today. A lot to today. Yeah, I like it. I like, I like it. That. You like lots of pumpkin spice? No, I don't. No? Okay. Like the briefcase in Pulp Fiction, and I was like, oh, we should do that with like the mummy. Like, this is the case where they keep his heart and it's still beating. Um, and then we're gonna need a really big tent in the future to build this house because like, when I say this is the Amazon of the world, look at how big these places were. We wanted to take you through the storage rack, so you're gonna be going through the storage rack scenes, you're gonna run into another character. Uh, speaking of one uh, plans, uh, we have gotten the announcement for Halloween 1978 coming to the event. Um, and in addition, in October, we'll be getting Halloween Ends coming to the uh, silver screen here. Um, so with the final face-off between Lori and Michael, who do you think is gonna take the victory? Probably Lori, but then Michael will be alive somehow. You know, <laughs> yeah. You, how can you? You can't kill Michael Myers, right? Because like in Halloween two, they blew him up, <laughs> and like, and then you know, Halloween four is back. <laughs> so um, I would probably, I would probably go with Lori because it seems like that's her destiny. Uh, we agree. I think Lori might take the victory, but Michael will come back. Well, thank you so much, John. It was a pleasure to to get to ask a couple quick questions, and we look forward to seeing. Halloween Horror Nights come this September. No, I'm good, thank you.
sudden, bam. Oh, Chrissy, I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> Just doing the fucking noise thing, bro. It's not too much of a spoiler here, but there's going to be a, a cult theme to this yes. year's show. Can you go deeper into the roots of how you got there? Deeper into the cult, yes. This is an era we have not explored. 1974 American cults, um, and usually it's been turn of the century kind of feel. We still have a bit of that. Uh, this one kind of evolved from, well, I'll back up a bit. Actually, I, I, I started writing a, a sequel to this thing. I got about 30 pages into it and then threw it away. called uh, The Knights of War. You may have heard of it, you may have not. Um, I am here today because uh, my good friend Scott, he's doing this panel slider dynamics and I'm super excited, I'm super excited for you guys to hear the information he's got to give to you guys. It's a wonderful program. So without further ado, I want you to, I want to welcome CEO and founder of Slider Dynamics, Mr. Scott Dieterman. that don't know me, you guys understand that I'm just not some schmo off the streets that 
is trying to do this to make some money. So uh, as Anthony said, my name is uh, Scott Dieterman. Um, I've been in the industry for coming up on 35 years now. I started sliding at the age of 16 and started training people at the age of 18. And ever since then, I've been constantly developing and experimenting on ways to make sliding more efficient and safer. Wait, wait. Minutes outside, so. the, the real question is, who does a Ghostbuster call? I don't know, I call me. <laughs> <laughs> They call us, and we call them. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Back and forth. Hello there. Hello. How's it going? I have one word for you. Copyrights. That's it. No innuendo. Thank you. Where's, much. where's okay. your tickets, guys? But, but that's it. Well, that's all I have to say. Well, I'm not popular enough for those to work on me. Oh, right. So, uh, <laughs> Okay, you've got to be here with Quinn, so come by around 5 p.m. today. It's here a weekend event. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look at this boomstick. <laughs> yeah. It's a boomstick. Come on. Oh, you slide. I don't expect you to know. I know what a gimbal is, you jackass. <laughs> I know. That's why. I'm here looking at the Ecto-1, and it looks good, and then... Group ah! We're just a hint.